Hello guys, so welcome back to our lecture about multiplexers. So uh, we're gonna explore in this recording the quadruple, uh, you know, another example of multiplexer or more complex ones, which is basically if you have uh, each input is multiple bits, and of course the output will be multiple bits as well. So for example, the quadruple two by one multiplexer, it's a normal multiplexer, normal two by one multiplexer, like this, it has two inputs, and one output, and one selection as well. One bit, I mean, one bit. But now, uh, each input is multiple bits. So for the quadruple one, we have four bits. So this is four bits. This is four bits. And when we know you have, you know, multiple bits, you can do this trick. You just add like a slash, and that means, you know, it's multiple lines. And here we also have multiple lines or multiple bits. So let's call this again I, I zero, I one, and here is Y. So again, when S is a selection, which is one bit still is zero, Y, which is multiple bits will be equal to I known. What does that mean? That means that the first bit in Y will be equal to the first bit of in I naught. Second bit in Y equal to second bit of I naught. Third bit of Y, third bit of I naught. Fourth bit of Y, fourth bit of I naught. And same when S equal to one. At that case, Y would be equal to I one. That means each bit in Y equal to its corresponding or its corresponding bit in I one. Okay. Let's see the design of this. This design is basically with inverted enable. Okay, so that's why it's inverting, it's inverted logic or negative logic. So when E is, is, is one, this is will disable the circuit. That's why we put the inverter in here, okay? Let's try this first. Let's disable the circuit, you know. Let's put E equal to one. If E equal to one, then it will be here zero. And look, this zero is going into all the end gates. So basically the outputs will, all of them will be zeros. And look each, each, each over here, zero from this one and zero from that one, zero from that one and zero from that one, zero from, zero from that one and zero from that one, zero from that one and zero from that one. So all the outputs, all Y's or Y bits will be zeros. Okay, that's if we wanna disable the circuit. Let's now see the normal function when E is equal to one. So let's remove everything here. Now we sure that the enable is working. Now we're gonna put enable equal to zero. So there will be here one. And one with the end gate doesn't uh, affect anything, okay? So let's vote for the selection zero. When S equal to zero, Y will be equal to A. So, S equal to zero, uh, there will be one here, okay, and zero here. So look, these, these four and the gates have zero input. One of its inputs uh, is zero. So basically the output directly will be zero. Let's check the other R4, so the other, so this line is going to the top four gates. So these four gates has one, in the middle here. And the other two inputs is, is A0, and of course the enable, which is one right now. So here we have ones also. Uh, so here we have here we have A1, A2, A3. So the first and the gate here is A node, and, and one and one will give you A node. Second and the gate will give you uh, A1, and one and one will give you A1. A2, then A3 in the same way. First or one input is A0, the second input is zero, which, which basically corresponding to B0. So A0 here and zero here. So basically this will be equal to A0. Second or gate, first input is A1, second input is zero. So this will give you A1. 
is in E2, A3. Now let's explore when S equal to one. Let's do that with, uh, with below, for example. So we're gonna put S equal to one now. So this will be zero, this will be one. Now the first uh, and gates have uh, zero here as one, as uh, the middle input is zero. Still the enable is one. So no change on that. Uh, now we have zero, so this will be one. The second and the gates have now ones, not zeros. And the first here is B0, B1, B2, B3. Let's check the and gates. I'm gonna highlight, you know, remove the green outputs. This is basically the previous output. Now, the first four gates, each one has an input which is zero. So basically the outputs will be zero all the time. The second four and gates corresponding to the B input. Let's check first one, B0.1.1 .1 from the enable. So this will give you B0. Second one is B1 and one and one would give you B1, B2, B3. Now let's check the OR gates. The first OR gate, the first input is zero now. The second input, which was zero previously when S equal to zero, now is B0. So this will give us B0. Second OR gate, the first input is zero now. The second input, which was zero now, is going to be B1. B1 OR zero will give you B1. Then B2, B3. So really, really, when we uh, change the selection, if the circuit of in, is enabled, of course, and we change it the selection from zero to one, you know, we can select the four bits of the output to be connected to some sort of input, either A when S equal to zero or B when S equal to one. The question is, we already did the two by one multiplexer, right? In our first, you know, first recording. If we did it already and we build the package out of it in VHDL, for example, can we use this to build uh, in a structural way this uh, quadruple? Let's check. So here it is. So I just here used, you know, the two by one multiplexer that we used in the, you know, in the, our first uh, recording or first slide. But I just added, you know, this negative logic or inverted logic enable. This is just one addition, of course. So what I have done, what I, what I wanna do here is that I'm gonna uh, use four two by one maxes and add E0 and B0 for the first one, then E1, B1 for the second, E2, B2 for the third, E3, B3 for the fourth and use the same selection bit, this bit here, for all of them, same selection. Because the quadruple two by one max, remember has, has one selection, the selection is one bit, okay? Now, let's check what's gonna happen when uh, S equal to zero. If S equal to zero, then we'll have zero here, zero here, zero here, and zero here. And when we have zero, we take the first, input for to the output. So this will be equal to A0. This will be equal to A1, A2, A3. What's gonna happen if, you, if it's equal to one? If it's equal to one, you will have one here, one here, one here, one here. Then we're gonna take the second input and copy it to the output. So this will be B0, B1, B2, B3. Okay, it's really nice. So you can do either way. You can start from scratch, you know, and we can do this, uh, you know, uh, hierarchical design basically using the two by one max. Now the question is, which is better? Do, for example, uh, one of them has more hardware, more gates than the other, okay? And the answer is no. Basically, they are exactly the same, exactly the same, okay? And let's check, I'm gonna show you that it's, you know, the first design is basically four two by one maxes right now. So let's go back to the previous month, 
you know, derive a solution. Let's clear it up. So, remember the max is two and the gates. I note selection I one same selection then an OR gate. This is basically the two by one max. Do we have the same here? Yes. Remember in the second design we used four two by one max, right? So look at this end OR gate. Where is its inputs? This end gate number one and this and the gate number two. Just to compare that combination, compare these three, three gates. This, let's call this three, for example. One, two, three, we know these three gates and that combination here. That's basically two by one max. Where is the second max? Here is the second max. This gate, this gate, and this gate. Where is the third max? I'm sorry, see, yeah, th yes, third two by one max. Where is the fourth? Here is the fourth. All what we have done here is that we just separate A inputs from B inputs. That's it. But if we, you know, it's of course, it's, it's, a, it's a circuit, you know, it's wires. If we take this and put it here, it will be exactly two by one max. Like, you know, the one that we usually, you know, uh, imagine or usually draw or plot. Okay. But basically they are you know, exactly the same, exactly the same. Okay, thank you guys for watching this video. And in the next video, we're gonna you know, take another interesting uh, application for some of the lectures. So stay tuned, bye-bye.